Hey, welcome back to another Sunday motivation. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna be going over some little like routine hacks that I have found made a huge ass difference in uh, my day, my routine, if you will. I'm on month 11 of my maternity leave and it has taken me this long just to figure out these simple fucking things. So I'm gonna just make it easy for you and put this in the one video. So I got five things to mention here. The first thing I do is I will put my clothes out for the next day before I go to bed. So it, super quick, takes me a few minutes, but it also saves me a lot of time the next day. So I just kind of look over my schedule for the next day figure out what I got going on, what will be appropriate attire, and then I will put out pajamas, my daytime clothes, and my workout clothes so that they are in order of how I need them. So I do my workout during Rory's first nap, so I need my workout clothes first, uh, and then I'll shower, change into my daytime clothes, and then my pajamas are already out and ready for bed. So as soon as I put my PJs on, I will just lay out my clothes for the next day. Number two. I only get shit done during naps. I'm probably gonna have to rejig this a little once he's down to one nap a day, but right now he's at two naps still. He has about an hour, hour and a half morning nap and then about an hour, hour and a half afternoon nap. If I'm really behind on either housework or my YouTube stuff, then I will prioritize whichever one I'm behind on until I get caught up. Um, otherwise, I'll typically do all my housework in the morning so when he has his first nap, I do my workout, I'll shower, get all the housework done, and then in the afternoon, I do my YouTube stuff. Uh, if you don't do YouTube, um, then you know, you can continue anything you didn't do the first time, or uh, you can literally just take that nap to relax because you got everything done at the first nap. I don't stress if I don't finish anything because I have all week. <laughs> get to that, the next thing food prep after every major grocery shop, I will designate that evening to doing food prep. So I'll like cut up anything that I need for meals. Um, I will put anything that was left over from the last grocery shop uh, in the freezer. I'll get it cut up or cooked into something. Any like fruits and veggies for Rory I will cut up because the thing is if I don't cut these things up immediately and then have them ready to go in the fridge, I will not eat them or serve them or whatever. Like I will go to whatever the easiest snack or meal thing is just cause I don't wanna have to do all the prep work. Number four, plan it. I am a planner. I have calendars, I have printouts, I have binders, I have notebooks up the fucking wazoo and I write everything down and I actually do have a video coming up next Sunday on how I do my weekly planning. So if that interests you, feel free to hang around for that one. Um, but it, it, it it's it's coming, it will be this exact binder. But basically I, I have a page uh, for Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. First thing I do with this is I only allow myself to fill up the allotted lines. Like I do not add extra things um, unless it is an emergency uh, or something comes up that I have to prioritize. I don't write anything extra in um, and I do try to leave spaces on the days that aren't full just to transfer anything over that I may not have gotten done on the previous days. I'll get into that more when I actually do my planning video but this is basically what I do. I just I plan my whole week and I do limit myself to how many things I want to get done in a day so I don't stress out. And number five is to do a quick tidy every fucking day. I literally do this every day. Sometimes it's just a matter of picking stuff up off the table, wiping down anything that may have like splattered on a wall, uh, half ass making my bed. Like there's tons of days where I really just don't wanna clean. I don't have the energy to clean. I don't have the time to clean. So I just do a quick tidy up. And even when I am actually doing a clean, I do specific rooms on specific days. So whatever rooms I'm not cleaning that day, I will just do a quick tidy up, get the dishes done, pick up anything on the floor, that kind of crap, just so the house is always a little bit put together and then even if I only have 10 to 20 minutes to clean up the house in one day 
uh, it's just easier. It makes it easier to come back and do a full clean because you don't have little like pieces of crap just hanging around and everything's already where it's supposed to be. And then it's just the actual cleaning part you have to do. So it just makes everything so much easier. If you have any questions, uh, want me to elaborate because this was so quick, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you have any daily routine hacks, things that have like changed your life dramatically, leave those down in the comments. Um, I would love to A, figure out what I'm doing wrong and B, integrate some more tricks, hacks, whatever to make my life that much easier. So we'll anybody else who is here to see this video you can go down and check the comments see if anybody's left any more hacks for you bonus <laughs> leave a like if you liked it let me know if it helped you out down in the comments subscribe if you feel so inclined and we will see you in the next one